Hi everyone, and welcome back to some more XCOM Chimera Squad. So, we are going to do the emergency, Anarchy. This is probably going to be rough. We do, however, have 85 credits. So, I'm thinking I'm going to make a flashbang grenade. Yeah, because that's definitely going to be useful. Sooner or later. Probably sooner. And we can give it to Cherub. He can take the flashbang grenade and the auto key card and the plus 50 dodge. And then we still have the ceasefire grenade. Terminal can grab that. Looks like that's it. Well, let's do this then. I do have a bad feeling about this mission, especially on impossible. But we're doing it. Spotted dangerous contraband. Hostiles on the move. Okay. Successful shots on enemies during breach will stun. Okay, and same thing again. All units through this entrance gain plus 50 dodge for one round. This is a lot of enemies. Eight enemies. Let's maybe give dodge to Axiom and someone with low health like Cherub. Here, that will do. In. Let's go then. Stay behind me. Let's see how bad this is going to be. I always have the android if someone gets knocked out, but you cannot deploy the android in the middle of the encounter. You can only do it at the actual breach point. Okay, let's see what we are dealing with. This is quite a few enemies. Dominator, okay. Sounds like we should probably take care of him. Let's shoot the python because we got 100% chance to hit it. And we also have a flanking crit bonus. There we go, one down. Good start. Then we can shoot the dominator. We don't have the flanking bonus, but we got 100% chance to hit him. Could have been better. Finish him off? Let's try to finish him off. He is stunned, but... There, down to one health. And shoot the other. Yep, that wasn't a bad start. Could have been worse. Hopefully the Dominator will not get a chance to do anything. Prevent enemies from escaping. Okay, no promises, because this is a lot of enemies. I don't know if I can actually prevent all of them from escaping. So let's throw the shrapnel bomb. This should kill the snake. Problem is, even though the snake is highlighted red, there's no guarantee we will hit it. Because the UI kind of lies about that sometimes. But let's give it a shot. And we are actually going to detonate it on our own. Do we have to? Yeah, we should, because then the trooper might move if I don't do it. Let's do it. There we go. Okay, we hit all three of them. And we shredded the armor. Here comes the trooper. We can probably capture him. Then we got terminal. Bruiser and the trooper will move next. I do have the ceasefire grenade. It might be best to save it for the next encounters. But I could throw it if I wanted to. First, let's heal up Cherub. I'm thinking Overwatch might be the best option here. Because they will probably try to move. Like this guy will attempt to escape. So I assume he is going to move in this direction. Or in this direction. Either way, Overwatch seems like the best option here. Let's go with that. Call it if you see movement. Yeah, this is good because the browser did not trigger it. Then we got Axiom. So, psych up. I don't think I can reach the Dominator. Nope. Well, I can kill this one. I mean, Overwatch will still be active. It's not going anywhere. Yeah, let's kill him before he gets a chance to do anything. Go, go, go. Okay, that wasn't quite enough damage. 
That is a little bit disappointing. Where's my Overwatch? Seriously? Okay, well, he didn't actually run away yet. But where did my Overwatch go? Yeah, stand. That's fantastic. Mind merge. I think that will give, yeah, the brother more health or a shield. Yep. Right, I need to kill the Dominator. I don't really want to charge him. I think I might throw a grenade. We could kill this. No, we can't because he will go next. But we could throw a grenade at the brother. Okay, let's just do that. And just shoot the Dominator. Yes, I could capture him, but I don't want to leave cover, you know? I'd rather just shoot him. Rolling out. So here comes the trooper. He's not really super dangerous. I mean, he will still shoot us, but that's alright. We'll heal ourselves. The grenade will explode after terminal. Overwatch? I really don't want to waste the grenade just yet. We only have one. Let's shoot that Dominator in the back. There we go, nice one. He's not going anywhere. So here comes the grenade that removed the shield. I assume he will shoot Axiom, but maybe not. Yeah, that guy will escape. There's no way I could have prevented all of them from escaping. I don't think that would have happened, no. What's the order? Paladin. Let's hit the Paladin then. That won't quite kill him, but that's alright. Let's hit him anyway. He's disoriented, nice. Will that remove the mind merge? I'm not sure. No, it will not. Uh, I was hoping it might. So now I can either give Axiom a shield and then shoot from my current position, or I can move down and take out the trooper. We can do it with charged bash. I can actually take out the paladin. Yeah, because he might be disoriented, but he gets the next turn. Let's take him out. So that will remove the mind merge, because, you know, he's dead now. And that killed the other guy. Nice. Well, we are basically done here. At least that's the first encounter done. Not the whole mission. I wish it was the whole mission. That was probably the easiest part. If I had to guess. Okay, next. Let's see. Secure entrance. There are fewer aggressive enemies present at this entrance. First unit through this entrance will have their weapon disabled. Well... I mean... Doesn't really matter if it's Cherub or Terminal. I can heal and then use... Uh, whatever it's called the defensive ability. Enemies deal plus one damage during the breach. Yeah, I definitely don't want that. Let's send everyone through here. And we could also use the flash bang. Or rather the flash bomb. Let's maybe do that. That will disorient all hostile targets at this breach point which is six of them. I don't want to use this one. We could also save it for the final encounter, which might not be a bad idea. I don't think I need a refresh. I can't actually see my own health. Yeah, we have mostly full health on everyone except Terminal. Let's just go like this. We'll save the flash bomb for the third encounter, which I assume will be the toughest one. So, what are we dealing with? The usual suspects. Chance to hit is not amazing. Okay, let's shoot this guy. He's the closest one. Uh, that was not amazing damage, I have to say. Legionnaire, 81%. Paladin, 76. Well, none of them are aggressive, which is good to see. Let's shoot the Legionnaire, maybe. With the shotgun. Nice one. 
that's pretty much the best possible outcome without a crit, and we had 0% chance to crit him. I could try to finish him off. Or we could finish off the trooper. He still has one armor, so I can't just subdue him. He's dead. And that's our last shot right now. Probably best to finish off the legioner, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, let's do that. Nice one. So, how bad is this going to be? There are quite a few of them. I assume some of them will attempt to escape, yeah. I might just let them do that. I mean, I can't kill all of them that quickly. The Dominator will try to escape. And also the Python. Let's see, so I could use Charged Bash. We could use that on the Python and we'll stay in cover. So that's one option. Can we use it on the Paladin from this side of the room? No. <laughs> okay, that would have been a little bit weird, but you never know. I can't use Kinetic Shield if I want to charge the Python. Unfortunately. I don't quite need it right now. I mean, I don't need it in the sense that we will probably be fine without it. Okay, let's hit the python. And we'll stay in cover that way. There. Not amazing damage, but I'll take it. It was guaranteed damage. We still got the ceasefire grenade. This might be a good moment to use it. Hey, don't kill Terminal. I kind of need Terminal, you know. Okay. Yeah, we need Terminal to stay alive. I might actually have to use Team Up. Well, maybe not. But if they target Terminal and take out Terminal, that will be a disaster. I could heal Terminal and potentially save Team Up for the final encounter. That might be the best option. I need Terminal to stay alive here. See? I cannot afford to lose Terminal. Honestly, I cannot afford to lose anyone from this squad right now. And we can still throw a shrapnel bomb or take a shot at the other. What if we throw a shrapnel bomb? Let's say here. It should explode before these guys get a chance to do anything. Yeah, it will. They are highlighted on the timeline. And this will explode much earlier. I really like the shrapnel bomb with this system. It's actually so good. And I assume you can make it better with promotions. Okay, one damage to Cherub, he grazed. Or rather, he dodged, the bruiser grazed. The Dominator ran away. There's the grenade that will also shred the armor on the trooper. And now I could subdue the trooper if I want to. First, we should probably heal ourselves. I could also throw a ceasefire grenade, but then they could also just reload and take a shot at me anyway. Let's see. Let's just shoot the other. We got 33% chance to kill it, basically. Oh. Well, <laughs> it's a graze. Fine. Engaging. Whatever. Be that way. I didn't need that kill anyway. Mind Merge. So now if we kill the Paladin, the Mind Merge will kill the Bruiser. At least I'm pretty sure it will straight up kill the Bruiser, not just do damage to him. Okay, Psych up. And let's target the Paladin. This will also do damage to the Trooper, because of our new ability. Shockwave, I think it was called. You know the one. Okay, let's go for it. 85%. We just need to not miss. Go, go, Axiom. Axiom smash. Okay, we did some damage. It didn't kill the trooper, but we stunned the paladin. So I'll take it. And he went berserk. Perfect. He moved back into cover and he killed the trooper. I love Axiom, man. He's just so awesome. He's easily one of the best characters you can use. 
You can't convince me otherwise. Oh man, I'm out. Okay. So the bruiser will try to escape. Well, we can kill the paladin and that should kill the bruiser. I'm not 100% sure about that. Uh, I can't charge the paladin, sadly. Now that's disappointing. Let's check our chance to hit with the actual weapon. Oh, I can't fire the weapon because we don't have any ammunition left in it. Well, okay. I could use preparation. I probably can't go before the bruiser, though. And I definitely can't kill him without killing the paladin. That is not a thing that I can do. And I do not want to use team up for this. That would be a waste. So let's just reload then. I have to reload at some point. We still got that stupid other. Now we can kill the paladin. Yep. Okay, so this will kill the paladin. Or rather, capture. And it should kill the bruiser. Or just do damage? Let's find out. Yep, that will kill the bruiser. I wasn't sure if it actually kills the mind merged enemy or just does a lot of damage. It just kills the mind merged enemy. We are left with the other and with the bruiser. Let's just shoot the other then. Maybe heal up a little. I don't quite need a lot of healing at the moment, but I mean, we might as well use it. Please just kill the other this time around. Eh, not quite. I suppose we can capture it. Uh, the browser will try to escape. I might still be able to kill him. I would have to hit him. With the shotgun. I'm not close enough to attack him in melee. Alright, well, let's try. I might be able to take him out. He wasn't able to escape just yet. Okay, nice one. Yeah, we can take out both of them. So first, the other. Let's see. Yeah, the other will move next, so let's take it out. I made the arrest. And then the bruiser. I'm not quite close enough to use subdue. Alright, that's fine. We just need to hit him once. Please don't miss. Done. Okay, one more encounter. This has been pretty rough. Let's see. Okay, ready for anything. Not a lot of options here. All units through this entrance get plus 50 dodge for one round. Hey, that's nice. Also, we still have the flash bomb. I will definitely use that. We do not need a refresh. We need damage. Let's go then. This is probably going to be tough. Yeah, this is a lot of enemies. Let's see if we can deal with them. Here is the whole list. We got two dominators. They do have mind control, they just don't use it very often, but I know for a fact they have mind control. So... Bruiser. Legionnaire. We don't have 100% chance to hit on anything. Which is a little bit unfortunate. Alright, let's shoot the Legionnaire. And we missed. Damn it, you had one job. Okay, I hope we didn't just fail this entire mission with that miss. Okay, free damage. I'm not very impressed with that. Come on, people! Yeah, I think we just failed the mission because the objective is going to be the same. Prevent them from running away. That's kind of hard when we failed two shots. Yep, that was a terrible first round. It was actually awful. At least they didn't hit us either. But that was a really bad first round. Yeah. Target in sight. Okay, so if three of them escape, we will fail. Which means we can't have more than two of them escape. That's going to be tough. There are so many of them. I don't know if I can do that. Especially when we failed the first few shots. Come on. What the heck was that? 
I don't even know what that was supposed to be. Okay, let's just run in and start doing some damage. Uh, I think that will blow up whatever this is. And now it will not. But that's an explosive that we can actually shoot. Yeah, one of them is already running away, or is he? No, he's just standing on the exit. We should probably rush that exit. I could actually, like, try to physically block the way to the exit, if that's even possible. But it would help being closer to it. Now, how about a nice shrapnel bomb? I could hit three of them. Maybe even four of them. No, three of them. Honestly, three of them is good. I just don't want to blow up Axiom. And it looks like I might do that. Well... Okay, they are not moving anytime soon. I could actually use Team Up on Axiom, because that's a good idea regardless. Yep, let's use Team Up on Axiom. I could use his damage, I need his damage. And he will move away from the grenade, and I will just let that grenade explode on its own. And we can still do something, like take a shot. Yeah, at one of these guys, because the grenade will not actually kill them, that's not happening. So let's show that the browser who will move first? Let's actually shoot the Dominator. And miss again. What the heck? I mean, I know that wasn't anywhere close to 100, but I think we had enough misses in this mission already. I'm just saying. Not sure if I want to attack him anymore. He brings bad luck, apparently. Well, I could capture the other. I could rush the other Dominator. Honestly, that might not be a bad idea. Let's rush the other Dominator. And that way Axiom will be way closer to the exit. As in, to the exit they will try to run away through. Here comes the Legionnaire. I was hoping he might stop near the grenade. That was quite a lot of damage. That was a ton of damage, actually. Probably the best shrapnel bomb that we'll have in a while. Mostly because it triggered other explosives. Okay, then. What's the order? Okay, Dominator, other... Let's kill the other, because that's actually guaranteed. Yep, I think so. Oh, I can't. I'm not close enough. Uh, never mind. So maybe Kinetic Shield and then take a shot? Our chance to hit is not amazing, but we already missed multiple times. I could also use Kinetic Shield and then throw a Flashbang Grenade to disorient them again. Let's use Kinetic Shield on Terminal, because they don't have cover anymore. Yep, that sounds like a good plan to me. And we'll throw the Flashbang Grenade. We can disorient maybe the Dominator and the Legionnaire. I do not want the Dominator to use Mind Control. That would be really bad. And I know they have mind control. And we can still take a shot. Maybe at the other. If we hit, we'll kill it. Yep, we missed. Of course we missed. Fine. Be that way. Oh yeah, that's a civilian. We could save the civilian for an extra bonus. That Dominator is not very smart, is he? Fortunately for us, but three of them are moving. Just don't bind Axiom or anything like that. Yep, a crit. Not much of a crit, to be honest. The Python is still disoriented. Okay, another crit. Well then, we should probably heal ourselves. And then move into cover. Well, subdue. I can only use that on the trooper. So not a lot of options. But hey, we'll do some damage. Let's just do that then. Go, go, go. And we technically have cover from this direction. It's not exactly very good cover, but... Okay, the other will attempt to escape. We have to stop it. Again, I cannot have more than two enemies run away, because then we will fail the entire mission. And the Legionnaire is also trying to run away. 
I'm not sure if I can stop the Legioner. It might be best to actually let one of them run away. Especially a high health enemy like the Legioner. That's what I'm thinking. So how about a shrapnel bomb? If I throw it right now, that will trigger before the Dominator gets a chance to move. I could throw it at the Trooper, but then I will damage Terminal as well. Or I could throw it here. Okay, that is actually the best option. I can... Okay, no, I can't really hit the Legioner. I need to hit both the snakes. This should hit them. Again, I don't entirely trust the fact they are highlighted red, but let's say I trust it. There. Okay, I'm just going to let that Legioner escape. Because he has a lot of health, he has one armor. I think it's best if we ignore him and focus on everyone else. And let's finish off that trooper, shall we? Yes, let's do that. And then we get Axiom. If Axiom goes Berserk, we would be able to get two attacks with him. That's what I'm quietly hoping for. Okay, so... The shrapnel bomb should kill the other, in theory. So we could target the Dominator instead. Let's go for it. We got him. So here comes the Legionnaire, which is fine. Oh, he wasn't even close enough. And here comes the shrapnel bomb. We killed both the snakes. Very nice. Okay, this is going really, really well. And then we can just shoot the Dominator. Or charged bash. That works. We can use kinetic shield. Let's go for the kinetic shield first. Terminal took a little bit of damage, so she can get it. And then hit the Dominator. It won't kill it, but it will be done to one health. It's not disoriented anymore. It might try to use mind control, but I mean, I can kill it pretty easily. No, it will just try to shoot us, which is not very nice, but we are fine. Alright, we might actually be able to kill that Legioner. We only got two enemies left. I think we basically got this. But let's play it safe and we'll heal ourselves. This looked really rough though. That shrapnel bomb was really helpful. Not only the first one, but the second one as well. And shoot the Legioner. Oh, of course we missed. You know, I'll be honest, I thought this would be way worse than it actually was when I missed the first few shots, because these were some really bad misses. Right, I would like to kill that Legionnaire if possible. We will do more damage if we shoot him, so let's shoot him, especially since Claymore has a shotgun. There it is, he's down. And that leaves us with one single enemy with one health. The Dominator. This should do the trick. Hopefully. Eh, pretty low chance to hit. Yep, we missed. We are done, though. I'm really glad that worked out fine. Terminal will be gravely wounded, that's fine. And we got 20 intel because we captured 6 enemies. That was a pretty damn good mission. Let's see. And we finished modular weapons. Lowered unrest. I have more background on the insurgents behind the mayor's attack. Just after the war, City 31 reached out to nearby resistance networks to help keep the peace. The insurgents belonged to a cell in the Shrike network. That network provided security before 31PD existed. They left when the Global Council cleared aliens and hybrids for return to society. Okay. Uh, couldn't stomach protecting the people they fought in the war? Seems that way. Since 2037, they've kept to the outskirts and swapped war stories at their watering holes. Sounds like a dead end. Maybe. Something drove them to carry out this attack. Keep your eyes open. So, track personal movement, right, that's our current 
active operation. And we finished the assembly project. So that unlocks stock, autoloader and expanded magazine. I will probably get at least one stock, because that's just too good to ignore. Uh, having said that, I don't think I can afford it at the moment. Yep, that's 60 credits. But we'll get 60 credits soon enough. What do we go for next? Let's take a look. I think we should go for improved field teams. Yep, let's do that. That's 25 Elerium, which is all I have, but that's okay. Let's go for it. And we got a promotion for Terminal. Let's see what we can get. Sustain. If Terminal takes enough damage to begin bleeding out, they are instead reduced to 1 HP and immediately entered stasis for one turn. One use per mission. Pin down. Terminal shoots non-damaging suppressive fire at a target to push their turn down the timeline. Two turn cooldown. Okay, these are both good, because Terminal is really crucial for most missions when we have her because of her heal. But pin down could also be super useful for missions like the one we just did. For when you have to stop someone from running away. Let's take pin down. I think this will be more useful overall than sustain. Okay, fine. We'll get that. And that's going to be the end of this episode, so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, or a dislike if you didn't, and subscribe for more daily videos. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.